One of the most important accessories for a DSLR is what I believe the cage. It works as the protection for the camera, an easy way to add a top handle to it, easy expandability to a rig and many mounting options for something like a monitor or microphone. I've purchased the cage from 8cent from my Panasonic GH5 after comparing some cages online. I've had it for a little over a week now and I've done several projects with it already. So I'd like to share you my experience and do a review. Hey folks, Jordi here for Cinecom.net and welcome to the channel where we share creative tips and tricks for filmmakers. And since I had the GH5, I was looking for a good setup that was compact, sturdy and allowed me to work fast. Eventually I came up with this custom rig, which consists out of different parts that I had laying around, some things are even brandless that I got from eBay and of course the 8 cent cage that is the heart of this rig, but we'll get into that in just a moment. They offer three top handles and I choose the middle one, which they call the Scorpio. Reason for it is that this one came with a 50mm rod connection on the side. With some spare parts from small rig I had laying around, I found this great solution to attach my small HD monitor to it. This one is a small HD 501, a full HD monitor packed with tons of functionality. It's super sturdy and lightweight, which I love very much. Now, outdoor, this isn't the greatest monitor, but they recently announced a new monitor that is designed specifically for outdoor use. It's called the Focus, by the way, which I haven't used or even touched yet, so I can't say anything about this monitor. The rod on the top handle allows me to swivel the monitor, which is super great. The monitor is powered by Canon LPE6 batteries, but I'm using a dummy battery so that I can power it through a big V-mount battery. This monitor eats batteries, so it's almost a must to power it like this. Same goes for the GH5. The battery life is a lot less than its predecessor, so I also ordered a dummy battery for the camera, which I'm still waiting for. The reason I choose to go for a V-mount is because it's formed as a sturdy nice block on the back. It gives power for the entire day and acts as a good weight on the back to balance the rig. I can even take this on my shoulder and shoot an entire day with this. It's a small packed rig which allows me to work fast. I can take it from my shoulder to my hip in a second. On the side I'm using a handle I got from an old Pro-Aim rig. It's mostly plastic, but it works. Today there are better handles you can find for a very low price, just look on eBay or sites like that. I've attached it in a way that allows me to swivel it quickly for chest or hip shots to shoulder position. Now let's go through the pros and cons of the cage and rod system, right after the short message from this video's sponsor. When you are short in footage, you can always use stock photos to fill in the gaps. Graphic stock has a vast library of photos from landscapes to people to food. When using the photos and video, we suggest to add a small zoom on it to create some motion. The photos from graphic stock are from a large resolution so they won't pixelate when zooming in. Visit videoblocks.com and get access to all their libraries. Let's solely look at the cage for a second. First of all, I have to say I love it. My camera sits in very sturdy. You can feel the cage is made for the camera. The screen flips out, you can use the cable protection that comes with the camera and almost all the buttons are accessible. All the buttons but one. And this I do find a little minor. It's easy to turn on the camera but not so easy to turn it off as the cage sits in the way. It's a minor issue because it's not a switch that you use that often, but I'm a little bit scared for the winter when my hands are cold or I'm wearing gloves. Furthermore, they've added a cold shoe adapter on the side, which is super great for attaching something like a Rode video mic or lavalier. The finish on the cage feels very premium as well. Definitely the hand grip which is around it, it makes holding the camera a lot sturdier, definitely for people with bigger hands. Since I wanted to attach more accessories on the rig, I needed a rod support. I find this very important for various reasons. You can expand the rig for different projects, plus it protects the lens a bit as well. Now since 8SYN had their own rod system, I thought to go with that, hoping it would all fit a lot better. But here we do find a problem. Let's start with the quick release. First of all, it's a very sturdy quick release. Much better than the one from Veravon I got previous on my GH4. Which by the way cannot be trusted at all. I had my camera fall out several times. But what 8SYN did was making their own quick release system. This is super annoying because this means I need to unscrew the plate from the cage before attaching a different plate to it when I'd like to use it for example on my gimbal. Then we have the actual rod system. You're able to adjust the height of the rods, which is a very positive point. Some mad boxes or full of focus systems don't always fit within a rig, and this feature definitely helps with that. 
However, I have the Metabones version of the rod system. To fix the screw into my adapter for extra support, I need to loosen the height control of that rod system. This means I need to readjust my mat box and other accessories again. The rod support is super sturdy. You have three bolts in your camera. The quick release system is super tight and I just feel very safe using this. When working in this setup, the entire shoot, I love the cage and the rod support. I truly do. But if you like to take your camera out of the rig several times during a shoot, then I do suggest to go for a different rod system. Unless you don't mind spending a little time to get your cage in and out. So all in all, I love this cage and also the rod support as long as I don't need to take it out of the camera too much. You can find a link to everything shown in this video in the description below. If you've been following us on Instagram, you've probably seen more photos of this setup. I'm going to tweak it a bit more and keep you guys updated there as well. For any questions about this rig, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching again, but most importantly, stay creative.